there's a day called today. This is the day of good news. If you hear the word of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Harden not your hearts. Harden not your hearts. We've got divorced today because of hardened hearts. It was not so in the beginning, but it was allowed because of your hardened hearts. This is the day of good news. If you hear the word of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Hallelujah. Let me take this opportunity and greet us, the Palford Ministry. I acknowledge you. The Council of Prophets in the house. <laughs> uh, I salute you. Uh, oh, Mama, oh, Dada, oh, Lucha la Sekaya. Titbul Sanye Kamalka Yesu, Amen. Gumzalwa Nekelona, Usi Pelo Koduka. A good news come to church. Panskom Fusnos Tuoga Zakele. The coolest one from South Africa. That is why a title is not an issue. Uh, we see these big titles, but we want the works. Many apostles out there, where is the work? We want to see the work. We want to hear the weight of what you carry. What are you saying to us? We see the, the title. It's huge. Uh, Hallelujah. Um, intimidated the titles. Uh, thank you so much, Mama Loret, for exposing me into higher heights. I remember the first time you asked me to come to the Zoom of the new moon and full moon. You know the title, the bishop, the doctors, and the apostles, and the apostle uh, of the apostles all those, and I say, Lord, did mama hear well that I must lead here? But the prophet of the most high God have spoken. Let me take the platform. And it's always happening. I bless the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm standing here to speak on the issue of circumcision but circumcision on its own how can I put it there are other things that support it it's not just circumcision we have written these things down by the instruction of the Lord even if we are not here they will continue to speak after us since now that we are here, let us make our mouth so big and speak about these things as sensitive as they are. Without fear, no favor. We must speak these things out. Uh, those who are writing, write number one. Calling. Number two, identity. Number one, calling. Number two, identity. Number three, when we are getting married. Number four, when a child is born. Number five, when this boy child is getting 18. Let's speak firstly about the calling. We've got pastors here. Can you please tell us, is there a young person who came to you telling you that I'm sensing a call of God upon my life? I'll do things differently. I'll be a Nazarite. I'll be set apart. 
I will connect with you so that you can impart these things of God upon me because I'm having dreams, I'm having voice, I'm sharing a call of God so strongly upon my life. Are we hearing that these days? How many young people are hearing call of the ancestors to become Sangomas? In numbers, even in our schools, they're enforcing their way. Ephesians 3.10, his intent was that now, through the church, the multifaceted wisdom of God should be made known to the powers, to the principalities, to the, to the rulers in high places. I always say the battle is fierce and it's not against flesh and blood. It's not for the weak. Be strong and be courageous this day. The battle is fierce. Let's pass on on calling. Let's go on identity. Who are you? I'm speaking to the tossers. When you, when, you, when you are telling me about yourself, up until you tell me your clan name, I don't know you. That's why I don't mention and scars to go some napina. Because I'm, I, I decided deliberately to, I chose to embrace the new creation. Closed <laughs> But not that in common sea back up, must bones and do chat about in doing cowards. Cowans and do chat, I glanced almost sea born. When I know Zinga of whom I'm to go into an agatico and look at Uba, whom to am Lumla Sibus Bungban, Dignosing, Umdombla, Umdombla, and the clan names are the our forefathers, when you are saying I am, I am those people, you are invoking the spirit of the dead. And that Gajeni, you don't know how we walked before God, how God looks at this Gajeni, but you are saying, Gajeni. Gajeni, Gajeni, who are you? There's a new creation. Number three, when we're getting married, that's the charter. I'm not doing the best. I'm not The pastors are here. Everyone is here from the church. Things are solid. We minister the word of God. Even the family members, they do the altar call. They got saved. Yet this family knows. Sunday, the church is not here. We must introduce you to the ancestors, God brothers. And... <laughs> Why, I'll be posing questions here and there, why the battle between the in-laws, especially Matutagas, with you uh, never ends? What makes that? In, in the olden days, before the Shweme Shweme came and all these funeral parlors, where was a dead person was put before taken to the, to the, to the cemetery? As a Makot, where do you sit? As a Makot, you sit back and forget. So that's where we used to keep in those olden days before 
the cemetery. We will keep you behind the door. So welcome to the world of the dead behind the door. We welcome you. Every, do you know that you were never made to be naked before anyone in that family except your husband? That is why they will never take you seriously. You will always be a baby before them. Every item as a Makoti has a meaning in the spirit. From that black duke, all those things, Mikagat, Neband, his name, safety belt, dedicating your womb to the dead. Can I have a, a guy and two ladies? Even if it's two guys and one lady, it's going to work well. Young people, come quickly. Sure. What's the one? Isa, Isa, Isa. <laughs> Mama, with that. This is a couple. This is their child. The child come later in the, in the picture. Lendo yembeleko aikali apaglumdan. That the ritual of Imbelego. It starts to him when we are doing his Mbelego as a child in this family. If we believe that Levi gave tithe while he was still in the loins of Abraham, we need to believe when this Mbelego is done to him, he is in here. Are we getting it? Yes. And then, Upangel and Fundin, Manum Sabins, Upans, where Uzakum Fundis, Nichatis, Gungungung, Leslangum, Cabello Bemnand. Then comes Sunday. We are in church, we don't know what is happening at home. Instead of you disappearing for a honeymoon, you decide to take this holy thing of God that is from the altar of God. You take it to the mud, the altar of the dead, the ancestors. We are bringing her. She got her Mbeleko in her family. She was just done in her. And then now, it's Sunday now. We must introduce you to this, to his ancestors. They even give you a spear to put it on the ground. So there's a, there's a, there's a piece of meat that you should have from that slaughtered goat so that you are known here. Do you know now that your womb was dedicated in your family when they were doing Beleko to you? For the second time now, it's done to you from this clan name. We see this seed coming out of him Passing an organ with a sign of a covenant to her womb, a double dedicated womb. Here is this young man, loves the Lord, God saved. The hand of the enemy is already upon him. The hand of the enemy. That is why he will call Kumbulekaya. I need my dad because things are not happening. Because he was still in the loins when he was doing his things. In her double dose, triple dose, they're going to do his own now, the fourth dose. This is how deep these things are. You got saved, you love the Lord, but you are still ladies.
Because this thing, these clan names, they never honored God. Let's clap hands for them. They must sit down. This is how deep these things are. When a child is born, see, teen in Kabayom Dan, the umbilical cord, we must bury it. That is why, even if you have died in Joburg, we must take you back to Mkanduli to bury you because your life must make a psyche. Because your umbilical cord was buried here. Some, they will bury it in the entrance of the house, those rendezvous, those olden days. Some, they will look for crossing ways. They bury it there. And the young women, they give it to the elderly women. They don't even know where it's going to end. Then when a child is getting 18, this young man, That's point number five. This is where we are. This is where we are finding ourselves. As we are returning to the Lord, let me quickly read. I think it's Zechariah chapter one. In the eighth month of the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Edo. The Lord was very angry with your ancestors. Therefore, tell the people, this is what the Lord Almighty says. Return to me, declares the Lord Almighty, and I will return to you, says the Lord Almighty. Number verse 4. Do not be like your ancestors whom their earlier prophets proclaimed. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Turn from your evil ways and your evil practice, but they would not listen or pay attention to me, declares the Lord. One of our evil practices that we are doing is there. This one of circumcision. It's an evil practice. Next year is my 30th year from the bush. I will never encourage any young man to go there. Wicked place. It was in 1994 when I went to the bush. I was 18. It was in 1994, the 3rd of December till the 23rd of December, 20 days in the bush. Then my assignment was done. The younger you go there, they quickly get healed and they must come back home. This thing of Port Elizabeth is a new thing. I grew up here. My home is here in Alice, next door, Alice. I was there. Some of these We are putting on. If you see the Zulus, we are like that. We are wearing those clothes. We are making a statement out there that I'm going to be the man. We think we are going to be a man. To find out you will regret. Let me start with the early stages of madness. I know in my system, in my body, I was bewitched in the bush. And I'm just wondering, where were my ancestors? Because my dad was an ancestral worshiper. He did everything so well for us in that line. I couldn't have been shot We even take it further to another level. My sister was in Bloemfontein. She brought me Muti from Bloemfontein to protect me. But up until we came back, and my mom was in her room crying as we were celebrating coming home. I want to meet my mom and my mom. I want to meet my mom and my mom. I want to meet my mom. They go there, he's healthy, they'll come back healthy and alive. But, mm -mm, 
we are coming back there sick. We are coming back there dead. It was a week after when an alarm was a salim ring that oh I was looking for a, a trouser, a pants I needed to change. The one that I've taken measurements to be for so it needed to be cut at the bottom. So I did the fittings in the bush, came back. I was looking for that trouser. They told at home, no, maybe man is lazy to look around this guy. They check, they check. Everyone was checking for my trouser. It was nowhere to be found. And then, that's when they noticed he was not himself because he liked to speak, but he was quiet lately. And we thought maybe he's tired because they don't sleep a night before coming home there. When they arrive here, they don't sleep also. So, so maybe. But now, let us go to hear this from uh, the Sangomas. What has happened? Where is the trouser? We went to this old lady. When you are going to this old lady, if you are going this lady's direction, don't go straight to this lady from your home. Take this route and then turn and then go straight to her. To make your case easier in the spirit. Otherwise, if you are going straight from your place, your case will be difficult. <laughs> this old lady, we came in there and then she said, why, why are you here? And my mom said, no, we, we, this is my son. We are having a problem, missing trousers. I said, stop it there. It has been stolen by Mbundu. It doesn't mean English. Uh, we, we, we are just going to fight through rain. It was a clear day, Bazalwan clear day. She said, we're going to fight through rain. She got into her room. This old lady came out with a plate, something in the plate. She went outside. It was hardly five minutes before she got in the house. The rain. Heavy droplets of rain. Heavy rain. Heavy rain. When the rain came down, she said, someone must quickly go check at home. And my sister's husband quickly drove home and checked there. And then she said to me, this is not your color. This is not your color. Never apply this thing in your face. Come, 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 come. I'm going to cook you now. Hey, <laughs> That primer stove, you put a blanket and then you, you steam yourself up. Yo. And then this old lady, before she put me in that thing, there's this primer here. She jumped over this primer stuff, and then she jumped again, and then she said, I'm not a witch. You must know that this was, this was what, this is what was done in your boma by the evil ones. But everyone was sleeping, but you were lucky your ancestors are with you because you used to wake up. And she quoted, Barcelona, the kingdom of darkness has displayed its power to me, live and direct. Me standing before you today is the grace of God. She quoted two incidents that really happened. This day, we are here for a week, and then on a Thursday, it was a Friday, so that we're going to be permitted now to eat everything the following day, Sago Chiswa and all that. And um, I thought, hey, uh, uh, man, um, we, are, we are fasting most when we were there, in a way. Let me ask you, Mbuzo, when you must enter, and there's that, that's, a, that's, a, that's an altar. You must always bow in that altar. Forcefully, you must bow. If it was fair for us, we are in pains. We must. When you, why are you making it difficult for us? Why can't you just walk in? But we must honor. This is an altar of the kingdom of darkness. There must be a pole in that bow in the middle. It's, it serves as if it holds, the, the, yes, it holds it, but it's an altar, you must bow. How many times have you bowed? When you're entering your boma, how many times you were bowing? 
you mzalwane you are saying no i'm gonna go to the bush the church way there's nothing called christian circumcision it's only two kingdoms there's no in between there's nothing called christian circumcision we can pull god into our own things god's standards are very high you cannot drop god's standards to suit the crosses Apostle Bengu spoke about these matters to us as, the, as this province. Mighty use of God. I'm a sailor. The thieves that will bring doors that have bought and bring them to the altar. But when he touched this thing of circumcision, the principalities, the powers, the rulers, they spoke through our tribal altars at the gate. Leave this alone undermining a man of god that you are a zulu you're not a closer i'm standing up as a black man who have been for in the bush tosa 101 circumcision i was not circumcised by a blade but by a spear i'm standing up saying that is nonsense we can never make you a man in three or four weeks you are raised into manhood we are not addressing the real issues the real problems these young men, prisons are full because of them. We are not addressing the real problem. Absentee fathers, fatherlessness. Mothers are doing a great job to raise these young men. They're on their own, but it's not working. That's why you find these ones also now. If there's a dad at home, you're going to tell you, what did I? I go in, I. I don't roll those hips. You give identity as a father to your children. If you are not there, this is the chaos we are finding now. This is from the altar of circumcision, a very cruel altar that demands three things. Human blood. Human flesh. Human life. How many are dying there? We are still servicing the altar of Molech through our children. The disturbable God of the Ammonites, says the Lord, the Bible. We can never make you a man in three weeks. Fathers need to go back to their homes. There's a need, a restoration of fathers in their homes. Fatherlessness is a problem in this nation. Mothers are trying, they even buy expensive things for these young men. They, 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 they are trying to buy this, to close the space of the father with things. We are not things. We must be present in our homes. Fathers, fathers, hear the word of the Lord. Return back to your homes. I desire to see a generation of young people that will have a style to stand i like to demonstrate this ladies cross your legs ladies cross your legs if you can keep it like this this disorder that is out there is a young person is strong as long as for when these old men who are having their children at your age, these old men that are wicked will come with big monies and you are stranded, you need the money. When they greet you, they will hold your hand. Don't call me that. I've told you my name. This altar of circumcision has done a huge damage. When we are taking you to the bush, there's a door that will open widely that you can be in Tabi, you can be a Sangoma. That door is wide open. And Kaloko was by Tabi, you cannot be in Tabi. This door of circumcision is, it opens you into another world. Bo mama, 
when you don't want things to happen in your homes, they don't happen. Don't, what's the point of you winning the Zibazana Award of the Year at the expense of your child? Speak sense to me. I don't understand it. You can bring them with helicopters from the bush. I'm just wondering if, if was the, we were having such man at home and I was brought with a helicopter yet I'm bewitched. And then after this old lady in that room I went out and my sister's husband came with a trouser in a plastic that we don't know. And then this old lady said, this trouser, you must keep it. I will keep it for a week. I pack and yes, you're going to wear it in your village. So and so and so that are doing this in your life. They will see you. They will look at you. They will do you no harm. They will just... The kingdom of darkness has displayed its powers before me. That's when I begin to... That same day, but then I got the same day, but alone. And I said, that's it. If everyone goes, this is not mama. Did he man go? There was something that I could not tell what is happening. I was only myself when I was with this guy that I went with to the bush or when I visited my girlfriend in town, Alice Town, my wife at Lagostish, when I'm there visiting her, then I'm myself. When I'm go that thing never wanted me to go home. Go, 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 go. I will fear. Sometimes I will stand at the gate and look at this house. Do you want that to be done in your child? For the recognition of Kalen. Nitango Kuala Bunins. Ninga Tengu Kuala Nancy Piskits. The transaction is done. The enemy doesn't bother. The blood of this young man has touched the land, has entered into a covenant. There's, a co there's an altar that's been raised on his behalf. What make this thing? I like to ask questions. I grew up like this. What make this, this husband of yours that loves you so much? Even if he's driving, when, when another dress passes. What makes that? Why your husband loving you so much and you are convinced this guy loves me? But... Zip problem. You even find it in the pulpit. A man of God that brings heavens down. It's busy with the worship team. What makes that? Toss a man from the bush. What makes that? The remote control is still there. It's operating. You are being operated. Oh, mama, you are the victims, ladies, of this altar of circumcision. You are in pains. You must use this thing when you're out there. How far that goes in your heart? This is a Mercedes Benz now. 16V. You can only go to the bush, Bazalone. Not to the bush. You can only go to the clinic. Clinically do it for health purposes in your circumcision. Because Galog, the foreskin traps the urine. It makes some pokoko. Guys will know. As you are getting old, it stinks. It stinks while you are still young. How much more when you are getting old? You only do it for that, this thing of circumcision. No changing of mbashas, no nothing, no walking, no migiti, no nothing. 
This young man is looking down in that demonstration. The piece that I've, made, I've missed is that this young man was standing here as a koala. He was walking like this the, with a black duke. Makoti, black duke, you must look also. Welcome back. The cycle continues. Everything is linked to this altar of circumcision. What makes you, young lady, you were faithful to your parents, a virgin, I came, I proposed, you accept me, I am from the bush, I sleep with you, and then I mess you up, I'm going, because lust is hitting me so hard, I'm busy with another one. You cannot remain in your home now, you must find another man. What causes that? What causes that? Sex was done for married people, was meant for married people. The two became one. The two becomes one. The last that is in me is in you now. So what's the punch going to See, I do me, Sapai Sati. Tibes to me, Susatan. Kakuzi Nans, I'm Nancy Aquazapa. See, I asked the Sugapa, who's this cousin to Bangaban, in the Orlando City in Yam. Like that, we are here. Now, we need to be in the other school. You are to me. Never see for women. I don't have a package just waiting. But go on. See a pen do. Who to and fro. See a do me. In do me. So that's Satan. Because he invited me to him. It speaks bad things. Ladies, we are our victims. Wake up. Cross your legs. You are the victims. Some questions now answered. Pastors tell us in your church that good young man on the keyboard and on the drums, they went to the bush. They sit at the back after coming from the bush. Hardly a month they are gone in the house of the Lord. This guy was not even, have, this was a mama's boy. No girlfriend, no drinking, no smoking, but, I've got nine minutes, but from the bush, this young man is a rapist now. He's a drunkard. He's a, he's a drug addict. Oh, mama, by a girl, about that, and Benz and Donabant and Abedu, fathers are, mothers are crying, fathers, what are you doing to our children in that bush? It's not them. That is the camp of the enemy. They're entering into deep covenants there with their own blood and flesh. If you don't dig for your flesh, you swallow it. Even if you swallow it, at the end of the day, it goes number two on the ground. This, <laughs> tell me, tell me, this old man that, you know that this old man has been married for years, the children are old, but this old man does not stop bouncing. What is to bouncing in English? <laughs> to bounce is to hit a woman in the, in the bumps. And the language, you know, if she doesn't shout, she's fine. Our thing is, this old man still continues that thing when greets. What's that? Holding your hand and then playing with it. What's that? It's a communication. I'm proposing you. Another bishop where we were on Friday, on Sunday evening, we were speaking about these matters. Uh, this huge bishop. Out of the blue, as I was talking this thing of pantsing, she said, ha, 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 and I looked back, she was laughing, the ministry of pantsing. <laughs> so it's a ministry of pantsing. What makes it? The old man is still controlled by that altar of circumcision. The last that I came out with from that altar, Mama Lored came to P.E., up until you came to the altar, 
the altar of Jehovah. And she said, try and remember whoever you have slept with because you are still married to that person. In the spirit. It was a hit and run. We were drunk. I'm a five, one, two, one, two. All those things. Sasu Vuselana, no relationship, no nothing. We are married in the spirit. You don't lend on this Dala Sako. This Dala Sako is fun in Umdoma Zanga Walana. You don't lend on no man. Even if how bad you separated in a twinkling of an eye, you can go back to square one. And you can wake up in the morning. Here's this guy. I had a clutch and I lost it. It was so bad, but he's still here. He's your spouse. I went home. The list was endless. No mzam. Na certificate saka so divorce. No ma tamsa. Na certificate sa nandi pa. Na certificate saka so divorce. Hey! The list was endless. Satakaya. The list was endless. I released those certificates of divorce. Um, pa. In 2013, that was my 10th anniversary, I said to the people that were there, you know, I'm doing this 10 years anniversary with joy in my heart. This lady next to me, I used to cheat her as my girlfriend. But ever since I've got married, I never slept with another woman. This year is our 20th year of marriage. And the funny straton and send the suit to Rundabu and the court. I came back from the street slowly. I was sick in my body. They say sleep around, but don't tell us there are STDs, sexual transmitted diseases. Kuna drops up. Uputanuya lila. It is charged. M dag of no fucking napkin. We bruise our couples of months. How can I go back there? My wife will never mess around with God. You know my after. She knows my before. Jesus. There must be a turn around, Bazalwan. When you have met Jesus, a turn around is a must. I don't care, stomach out or no stomach out or according to the Tibansa now. I had enough at home. In my 20 years of marriage, only three years, first three years, we were staying together with my wife and then she go to work out of town. Only this year she came back. 17 years she's been away and the Lord has tested me that, are you sure? Bazalwan, I was weak as a man. Oh man, can you upstand his muh, his lay? It took me five years of grace to be restored. To be a healthy man. How can I go back to that nonsense? There is no way. Young people, I'm opening my life to you like this. I'm washing my hands. You go there, you know this 10th day, we've told you. You don't even need to pray about it, just run. From the youth, youthful last run, it's stronger. Baleta, if you don't us. Ndomcha. Baleta, if you don't turn us. Just run away, you don't have to pray about it, just run. The Lord will keep a spouse that will only love you and respect you only. 
You can only find a husband in the Lord that will honor you in every area. This husband washed dishes at home. They are koroba. They are chayela. My wife did the washing the other day. She wanted to hang it in the morning. I said, there's no way. I'm here. I'm ban. This is Lecha Sandro that's told me washing the right. <laughs> <laughs> Home washing, I'm not going to go to my tattoo. I'm washing. Come on, Lord. A man is hanging, washing. A black young man. It's possible. How I wish I've received this thing of the kingdom of God at my younger age. How I wish. How I wish, young people. You're always thinking that we are jealous of you. We don't understand you. We are closing opportunities for you. What opportunity? This truth that we're telling you today, you'll never find it out there. Ladies, let me tell you this. You connect when we sleep with you. We just deposit, we are gone. Mazalwane, when you're from the bush, voices will tell you, you are not going to sleep alone. And the recognition in the community. You get it by changing. When we in the bush, we are told that you must find a lady, not your best girlfriend, just someone to take a party, your bad luck in here. Every young girl is a rose in her family. Whose rose is this you are deposed? I did it. When I looked, I'm married at that time already. When I look at this girl's life, it's a mess and it's my contribution. Bo mama, kabandwa na benu aba. Kabandwa na benu aba. This thing is lasting. I'm lose some time and get kawa iyangacha. It can be quiet that thing up until you get married. And the marriage stands up. Then you fail to understand. How can this man lie before you take your ring off? This altar of circumcision is a very cruel altar. It's a tribal altar. Never take your children to that thing. I speak as a black man, circumcision 101 in the villages. I'm standing as a, as, as a child of the Most High God. We're speaking to the principalities, to the powers, to the rulers. We are dethroning. Oh, Shataka Rabaka Sakatala Makature, Libra Gadala Mahaseke Terabo Gadare. If you are here, you are a young man. You haven't, you haven't been to the bush. You don't want to go. But you don't know how you're going to deal with the society and your home. Come forward. Stand on my left hand side. Come here this side. Come this side. We're going to pray for you. If you are from the bush, if you are from the bush, young man, come and stand this side. If you are from the bush, stand this side, young man. From the bush, this side. If you are still, we haven't been there, stand this side. If you are a young man from the bush, stand this side. Lunga, Pastor Sabs, as I'm handing over to you. There's a grace. There's a grace. There's a grace. We are just opening a door for you if you are from the bush. It needs you to take it further. It needs you to take it further, arrive at home. You need to go to your home, to the crawl, and disconnect yourself. You need to go to the place where your bush was, and say, Father, an altar was raised on my behalf in this territory. My blood fell on this land. My flesh fell on this land. 
I disconnect. Disconnect. We are not sure. We haven't been to the bush. The clinic is waiting for you. We have heard the truth today. Do it for health purposes. You'll never be a man in three weeks or four weeks. Shata Raba Hasehi Imroka Tulama Hazore. Hallelujah. Let us stand as we're going to pray for these young people. Can I, can I, can I ask the man, before this, uh, let us stand behind this young man because we took them to the bush. We took them to the bush. So as we're going to do this prayer of repentance, renouncing, let, let's stand as men. Hallelujah. Um, and deal with these matters. We have to deal with these matters. The people that need to take responsibility is us men. This is not women's problem. Uh, the gender-based violence issue, the killing of women, it's not a problem of women. It's a problem of men. As men, we're going to accompany these young men as we are bringing them before God to say we repent that we went to that altar giving our, those three things, uh, see, uh, our blood, flesh, and life. Uh, those three things that we have given on that art. We're going to repent. We're going to renounce the covenants that were made there. A friend of mine who went to the bush, he was a Sotho, he told me, same story. A, a, a brilliant young man. Um, I mean, we were joking together. We were just laughing. He was, not, he was not a spiritual person. At all, at all. He only went to the bush because it's culture. He saw power. He saw lightning during the day. When people put two things together and lightning comes. He saw demonstration of power. So when we take them to the bush, as they sleep on that bed, in that altar, what are they communing with? What are they communing with? These are the matters that we must break. These are the matters that we must cast out. Amen? So we're going to pray. We're going to start with these ones who went to the bush. Guys who went, uh, as you are here in the front, I'm going to first um, lead you into a prayer of repentance. We are saying to God, God, we are sorry, forgive us. That's the prayer. Second prayer, we're going to renounce. Renounce means that we are rejecting agreements, covenants, um, promises that were made, you know, uh, whatever covenants that were made there, we are rejecting those things. Whatever those altars, whatever they stand for, and different families may do different rituals, it, it, it depends, but we are rejecting those things. Amen? So though, uh, we, we, we're going to be uh, doing those, um, those prayers. Uh, Please follow after me. Let's say, Father, today I come before you. I confess my sin. Sin of my family. Sin of my fathers. I presented myself. My family presented me on the altar of circumcision. Presenting me to the dead. Spirit of the forest. Spirit of the river. Spirit of the dead. To 
today father i confess my sin i confess my acceptance of that altar forgive me lord wash me from this wickedness from this iniquity i come before you i humble myself before you forgive me lord i receive the blood of jesus that washes away my sin i receive the blood of jesus that cleanses me from all wickedness iniquity and rebellion in the name of jesus today i am made the righteousness of god not because of my own doing but it is a free gift of god through jesus christ amen we're gonna also make a prayer of renouncing we're gonna reject that altar reject the agreements the covenants um, that were made in that altar amen so let's continue to make that prayer let's say father as i'm a child of god a new creation today in this altar altar of heaven in this altar made by the cross of calvary where jesus died i now renounce the altar of circumcision i now renounce the ritual of circumcision i now renounce the the altar of circumcision i renounce every standing of that altar i reject every covenant every agreement every promise of that altar out of my life 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 my blood my flesh my life dedicated on that altar i reject all of it in the name of jesus every curse words spoken agreements made covenants made by my forefathers that are speaking on that altar they no longer speak over me they no longer speak over my life from this day forward i am a child of god from this day forward i am a child of god from this day forward my body is a temple of the holy spirit from this day forward my body is bought by the blood of jesus i am free whomever the son of man sets free is free indeed in the name of jesus amen father we bring this young man we bring this young man we are claiming the power of redemption the power of redemption the buying back from that altar what jesus did on the, the finished work of calvary on the cross their lives are bought back their lives are bought back their flesh is brought back their blood is bought back their minds are bought back their identity is bought back their marriages are bought back everything of theirs it has been bought back it has been redeemed by the power of the blood of Jesus their lives are 
about that. Their destinies, their future, their minds, their hands, their skills, their sex, their sexuality, everything about them, it is brought back. 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 back in the name of Jesus. Oh, we redeem their lives. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We release their prophetic destiny according to the purposes of God. For their lives was woven in the womb by God. Their lives we redeem now in the name of Jesus. Oh, we redeem their lives in the name of Jesus. We redeem their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, where there are single parents, where they are married, everything connected with them now, we are bringing redemption. We are bringing redemption. Those illicit sex, those fornication. Father, we are bringing redemption in their lives, even their psychological life. Heal their soul. Heal their soul. Heal their soul. Heal their soul. soul. Their minds, their will, their emotions. Heal their soul. Heal their soul. Heal their identity. Heal their self-image. Heal. 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 In the name of Jesus. Heal their value system. Heal. In the name of Jesus. We pray, Almighty God. We pray, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, we present this young man. Father, we pray as they have come forward in this altar, every action that they need to take back home in their own personal lives, every step that they need to take moving forward in further advancing and implementing and living out this decision, we pray for grace. We pray for the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit to operate in their lives. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray for these young men. Uh, young guys, we know Anoluka and Ninaniak, but Nivili is when is Vlayapanamshanj. I want you to take a decision that I need to go look. Um, there are things that we cannot tell you. It doesn't matter what we say. It just needs you to come to God and say, God, this is me. Fight this matter for me. Um, because as a child, sometimes you cannot speak back to your parents um, but you can take a stand and God can stand with you in that decision all right I want you to make that decision what we are praying for is that now that you have heard this truth and now that you have responded you you've come forward you say we want to do the right thing we want to pray that God keep you in doing that right thing. Let's stretch our hand family for them in the name of Jesus. Father, we bring these young men. We dedicate them to you. We dedicate them to you. Perhaps, Father, these young men have been dedicated in their family altars. Young men, Namhlanje siyazinikela ngokupheleleyo kuwe siyalahla i altars zasemakhaya zobawo mkhulu namhlanje 
Sezinikele. Kwe alta. Katika. Uye ova. Omdali wa mazulu no mshaba. Na mshanje. Sezinikele. Kuyesu krestu. Inkosi ya makosi. Ukumkani. Ukumkani. Ngokupeleleyo. Kusugela na mshanje. Ukupeka pambili. Di umtuwa na katika. Di sindisiwe. Di sisitalwa esicha. Father, upon their confession, we pray and we are asking, O oh God, protect these young men, this youth, these children. Cover them by the blood of Jesus. Cover them by the blood of Jesus. Every voice that will speak against them, we silence it today. Every voice from the community, from their families, from their friends, from their school, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. They have stood in the altar of God. They have stood before God, Almighty God. Now we are speaking the word of blessing over their lives. We are speaking covering. We are speaking protection. We are speaking the blessing of God. We are speaking the Holy Spirit over their lives. To preserve their soul, to preserve their life, to preserve their bodies, to preserve their blood, to preserve their flesh, to preserve their life in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for grace as they, as they stand firm for the truth within their families we pray for grace 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 in the name of jesus hallelujah I, I just want us to also agree with them in this particular prayer they must pray the prayer but the whole house must also pray the prayer we are going to pray dismantling all the plans and the conspiracies of the enemy against their lives. Because it is the plan of the devil that will want them to bring them to that place of circumcision. But now if we agree with them as parents and as themselves to say, we are dismantling those plans, we are destroying all those weapons and every conspiracy that the enemy... Let's, say, let's all pray together. Let's say, Father, Father, as these children stand before you today to commit themselves to you, on this matter of this covenant of the bush as they renounce it lord as they reject it from their lives we stand together to against the enemy and all the schemes of the enemy to bring them to that altar father we destroy we dismantle every plan Every conspiracy, every cons cons concentration, every agenda, every congregation of the enemy against the plan of God for these children of God. We stand as parents, we stand as the youth against the plans of the devil in the name of Jesus. Wherever there's an assembly of spiritual forces, powers, principalities, we rise up as the children of God and from above we declare the plan shall collapse in the name of Jesus Christ. These children have been dedicated and devil, you will not touch them in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just a last... Mm. Hallelujah. Uh, guys, based on the matters that, that I said, we may have done things already. It's very important to do the right thing. Uh, it's very important to do the right thing. If you have a child somewhere, uh, pull yourself up become a man find that child and be a father 
It's very important. Let's, let's break the cycle. Let's break the cycle. Find that child. Find that woman. Apologize. Uh, reconcile. And, um, and, and be a father. Find Nabotat. The servants of God. Find someone to disciple you. Um, we, we, we're not going to deal with these things, Jay. Find somebody to walk with you. Somebody that you can speak frankly with and say, I, I have a challenge here. I have a challenge here. I have a challenge here. Um, because unfortunately, part of the problem is that uh, we are creatures of habit. You start something, it becomes a habit. So you do need somebody to walk with you, to help you. This is how you deal with this matter. You know, uh, the matter of eyes turning. It's a, it's a serious problem. It's a serious problem. So you need to have somebody you speak with and saying, hey, today uh, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was turning. My head was turning. So that there's somebody that says, no! No! Somebody you are afraid of. Somebody you are scared. Somebody to say, no, you don't do that. Somebody to hold you accountable. You know, uh, so that we, we break those matters in terms of our, of our actions. Amen? I'm not saying we've done things I don't know, but I'm saying where you know that there's a specific area that needs extra attention, that I need to pay attention to do that. One of those areas, it's pornography. I know it personally. And it's a prevalent problem in today. Today, it's not like the, the days back then. We, we, you have to find those magazines. It was a struggle to get them, but you would find a way. But today, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. You, you quickly get into those websites. Pornography is a problem. Talk to someone. I have a problem. Uh, I need help. But Dada, I know you are already married. You are already a father. If you've got a problem with pornography, we're going to deal with the matters of, 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 of Jezebel and, and sexual immorality. But we need to take action. Amen. Um, thank you, Mama. We have prayed for these young men, but now we want to repent. Um, we, we, we are calling on Dada to please come forward. We're going to repent on that, on that mat. Um, because we have lost lives physically. People have died uh, during circumcision. Um, Men have lost their manhood. Um, others have lost their sanity, their health. Um, 
on that altar. You know, so that is the that is the prayer we are going to make a prayer of repentance for participating and being part of uh, this ritual of circumcision. Uh, I just want to add because it was also in my spirit what Prophet Nikki uh, is saying. Uh, I felt in my spirit that we are presenting young men on the altar but we as fathers are the ones who are guilty of calling them into this altar you know uh, peter says he delivered us from the empty way of life that has been handed down to us by our fathers we are the fathers of today and we are taking our children to this altar so part of what they need is their deliverance from us what we are giving them because and we are guilty of sending them there on that altar so we need to bring that repentance for that blood that innocent blood the altar of our ancestors whom we have not known but we trust our fathers they connect us to their fathers and their forefathers so i just wanted to add that part would we as fathers we need to repent before god let us pray father in the mighty name of jesus Please forgive us as fathers. We have not been like you, O oh God, in terms of loving and raising our children. Instead of trusting our children with you, bringing them to you, we brought them to our forefathers we have not known. And we brought them to altars. We have not known what happens spiritually to them when we bring them to these altars in the name of honoring tradition and honoring the dead. Lord, as fathers, we are guilty before you. Lord, as fathers, we are guilty of shedding innocent blood. We are guilty of dedicating the male seed of our nation and of our people to the altar of the dead. We have disconnected our children from a great covenant with great promises, with a great future and eternity. And we brought them to a covenant that claims everything in the fiber of their being. Even the things they build, they also destroy by themselves. Lord, in the name of Jesus, even in this season, blood has been shed because of this empty life that we are giving our children. Because of this empty dignity and social standing, we say we give them and make them men. But in essence, Lord, we are giving them a priesthood to the altar of the dead. And they pay with their blood. Forgive us, Lord. Oh Lord, we remember what you did on Calvary. We cannot save these children, but your blood can save them. You say in your word, Lord, you wiped away every handwriting of requirement that was against us. 
there is a handwriting of requirement. There is a requirement of blood. There is a requirement of covenant. There is a requirement of life. We silence that requirement in the mighty name of Jesus. Siakulisa uguteta gualo makazi eka meni lika Yesu siakaula lo mi all those covenants and agreements and we nullify them in the name of Jesus and we bring every transaction even the one that is in motion to naught in the mighty name of Jesus bonke nkosi amababangwayo those covenanted and those who are being called into covenant in the name of Jesus break the arm of the wicked one that he may not touch them in the mighty name of Jesus even the ground that has received this blood this innocent blood we know that it is groaning before you oh god we know by the scriptures that the ground is groaning we arise as sons of god this day in the mighty name of jesus let that blood be silenced makuthuliswe ukuthethwa kwelo gazi sithulisa ngegazi lika yesu sithulisa ngegazi lika yesu we silence by the blood of jesus and we pray and we declare the redemption of those souls that the enemy has captured that the enemy has held captive because of this covenant namhlanje at this hour in this altar oh lord let those souls be brought back let sanity return to the minds of these young people we pray see a woman go see am u kona go itu pam kwa ko justify us also by the blood si tetelele e kazini si kolele bawo si make bawo si melabongo tata aba kwa ziyo na banga kwa ziyo aba nga kwa ziyo ba kolele nko baba yazi they don't know aba they don't know what they do we pray for your divine intervention lord will you charge the altar of circumcision in the cosa nation will you charge will you charge will you charge will you charge it oh god we pray for your divine intervention simanko siam sisithi siyayixhasa simanko siam sisithi we denounce it in the mighty name of Jesus receive our prayer our god hear us oh god forgive us redeem us deliver us sanctify us for your use we will not be used we will not be used by the devil in the mighty name of Jesus let records be kept let records be kept use them oh god to war for us our father we pray in the mighty name of Jesus amen